Okay boys, let's get right into it. So today's video is actually meant to be a showcase for either the unit that got a plat, for the free to play unit or for the new Zenkai. For some reason we got all three of them in one update and they all seem pretty bad. I cannot say for myself exactly because I have not used the free to play Marzamasu, I have not used the Zenkai LF Rose, I have not used Corrupted Marzamasu with this plat because I wasn't able to farm a good slot to start with, but everyone I've seen on the internet, YouTube showcases, Twitter, Instagram, everyone is saying like not good things about all these units and that's pretty bad. So some people have already farmed the free to play uh, Zamasu to 14 stars because they're trying to get the CMZ plat I'm assuming and that requires you to play co-op a lot. And yeah, apparently some people have showcased him at 14 stars and he's not good. So that's pretty bad because lately the free to play units have been at least decent and usable. I'm not saying this guy is not decent or usable, but it's uh, it's super rare or maybe not even at all when uh, free to play units gain value over time. They usually just are good on release and then they just start to lose value slowly and they never get to see the day, <laughs> the daytime again, you know, they never get to play in PvP or do anything except their release. And if this guy is called bad on release, I don't see this guy actually becoming better over time and that's a shame because Marzamasu is a pretty hype character in general, uh, he has cool animations, he has, he looks cool you know, it's a cool unit, his art looks amazing, if I open this up right here, it looks really good, he doesn't seem to have longevity and that's a shame. Now let's talk about LF Rose because it's weird, it's weird because everyone was hyped for this unit, even on his release he was good. He has some really valuable stuff in his kit like the permanent endurance nullification, the fact that he can take Dragon Balls away, inflict extreme bleed. He has some really good stuff and people are actually expecting for this guy Zenkai to be better, you know, because apparently people at 14 stars, full Zenkai 7, mine is just like 8 stars and Zenkai 5. So yeah, I haven't tried him yet, but I've seen people try him at max out with support and he looks decent but he doesn't leave the greatest impression and yeah I know I don't know it's just weird because they squeezed all this stuff into one update instead of giving us one weekly or something and I feel like because they tried to do three things at one time they kind of messed them all up for some reason I don't know since when they had this free to play ready I don't know when they had uh, the Zenkai ready or the plat but just them releasing everything at the same time for the same tag and they're all pretty bad. I don't know, Future just got shafted and usually Future gets good stuff. I'm just gonna quickly go over Rosé's new uniques because we all know the old ones and I don't think they actually changed a lot about them. So we have Herald of Ruin, I don't know what that word means, but applies the following effects to enemy when they perform a cover change while this character is on the battlefield. So if the enemy cover changes against you, you destroy two of their cards and you reduce the key by 50%, uh, by 50. But th what that does basically is just, if you have someone like Beast Gohan or the Monkey Boys or someone that cover changes and then they have a blue card that they can link into, this can basically guarantee that, I mean it doesn't guarantee, but it might destroy the blue card or it might leave them without enough key to actually do the blue card. So it could be useful, but it's not the greatest ability they could have given this guy. Then we have the following effects occur if this character is on the battlefield after an allied attack ends. That includes himself, so when you tap attack, when you uh, tap shot, stuff like that, tackle, quick attack. He gets 20 key, which is decent. He gets card draw speed for 5 timer counts. I think this should have been at least 10 to 15 timer counts for it to be effective because if this happens at the end of the combo there's nothing you can really do. The only way I see this being useful if, is if you quick attack or yes quick attack and then somehow you get priority and start the combo then it could be useful but other than that I don't really see a value in getting card draw speed at the end of an attack. And then he inflicts all enemies with attrib attribute downgrade minus 20% to her restoration for 15 timer counts. That's good because if you like quick attack three times in a row, 
that's like minus 60% to her restoration for 15 timer counts, so that's pretty good. And then we have a God's Rage, applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield, so he gets 15% to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Mm, that's not great, it should have been permanent, not reduced by timer counts, and it should have been 20 or 25%. Reduces damage received by 15% for 15 timer counts, again, same thing as the strike attack, it should have been permanent, not time gated, and also a bit higher. And then 30% to key recovery for 15 timer counts, this is whatever. I mean, unless, unless you have cardinal speed, I don't see like the key recovery being that useful, because yeah, you cannot just keep drawing cards to actually use that key that you recover, if that makes any sense. And then applies the following effects to self after enemy attack is over, so after they tap attack or after they like finish a combo. <sighs> Restores 20% of damage received, up to 20% of own health, okay, so he gets health back, which is not the best, but not the worst. It could have been a higher percentage, in my opinion. Plus 30% to next strike card damage inflicted cannot be stacked. This could have been at least 40 to 50%. It's just one strike, it's not gonna be like the whole combo like that. So yeah, his uniques are pretty bad. I mean, they don't do a lot. They're super niched, especially the first one, these. Kind of all seem pointless if you ask me, like, it's good stuff, but this could have just been added to one of the other uniques and it would have been the just the same, you know? But yeah, like, Broze Zenkai doesn't seem so good right now. Maybe he'll gain value over time and with some future buffs that we might get for part 2 we're gonna see what happens because on his team I think he's probably the best purple option you have anyway. Oh no, I forgot about Cell because I don't have him. Okay, so you have Cell who's also melee type. So I don't think he actually replaces Cell. If you have Cell's plat maxed out and all that, I think Cell could still be a more valuable unit. But since I don't have him and I've never used him, I wouldn't know. And other than Cell, let's say you don't have Cell like me, and you just have Zenkai Rose, who else would you use? Maybe this guy, if this guy got a Zenkai, he could be like a really good option. And other than that, I don't see anyone that's too valuable. Maybe this guy, but his range type, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get melee type buffs, because that's what we've been getting every single new LF, it's either defense type or melee type for some reason. And now let's talk about the CMZ plat. Honestly, I don't know why they locked this behind cop. It's super annoying. I've done a lot of runs and I have not gotten a single orange or red slot. And I deleted them, don't worry. This is not all of them. I had like over 60 or something. But yeah, so on the first one, he gets base strike attack and base blast attack up to 35%. That's really good. Obviously you wanna get this first slot rolled to a red if possible because he needs, he needs all the damage he can get, honestly. Then on his second one, they gave him base health, which is good, like give him health, double defense up to 45%. Not bad, but this guy was never meant to tank or to eat hits. I don't know why they focused on that, because this guy is actually... He wants to lock in, he wants to keep doing cards, he wants... Because he, he I think he's a build-up character, if I remember correctly. The more cards he does or the more he stays in, I can't remember exactly. I know he's a build-up and for that I'm pretty sure card draw speed, cover change null would have helped him way more and more damage inflicted, honestly. And here he just gets 20% damage inflicted if you get the red slot, which is not a lot, this could have easily been 40 or 35. And then restores on health by 20% if it's 50% or lower be below after an enemy attack is over. I read that so bad. But yeah, basically if your health goes under 50% and then after 30% he gets to heals. I'm assuming if it goes straight like to under 30% he's gonna also activate this one. So he's gonna get both at the same time. <sighs> Which is not bad but like again this guy I think he wants to just do more damage you know because he locks he literally locks you in with his green card and then he can start the combo on you. Like why not make that green card have like more effects into it you know like buff the green card or something. I know that requires a Zenkai most probably, but recently since they've been adding uniques to unique equipments, I, I don't see why they couldn't just add something to buff the green card or something, you know? But yeah, I don't know. It just feels like this is gonna help him, but he's not gonna change anything. Plus, he's red in the Beast Gohan meta. And yeah, I'm surprised that actually Future is the tag that is getting shafted this time around because 
If we look at Future's history or like most of them, they always got good units. Like, let's say this, this Goku Black, yeah, he's an all-star unit. If you have this guy at higher stars, he's a good support, he does some super nice things. Plus he can do a lot of damage, I've seen showcases, I've not been using him myself because he's only, I just recently got into 4 stars, so yeah. This LF Trunks, good LF, unfortunately not the right time for him to show up because Cooler was like literally destroying every Super Saiyan in the meta. Then we have this Tag EX, which is, it's a tag for an EX unit, so that's pretty good. This free to play cell is good, Androids were busted on release, this free to play Trunks was good. EX why we don't talk about EXs too much because there's no point. <sighs> Rose was shafted apparently. This guy from the anniversary, no, from last Legends Fest is good. This free to play unit was good. Drip Trunks, not the greatest, but really good the ability. And yeah, I mean, this guy also got shafted. For some reason, it's purple units <laughs> that are getting shafted apparently. I mean, it's not because this guy was good on release, really good. This guy has a good Zenkai, Future Gohan. We already know Future Gohan, this guy was extremely good on release. Revival Cell was good, this Goku was good, this Zenkai was good. VB was a good Zenkai, not, he was a balanced Zenkai, he wasn't broken but he wasn't bad. And then yeah, he has some spots where he can really be good. So I think this was a successful Zenkai. Rosé, this one got shafted for some reason. And yeah, I mean Future always have been like a nice team to invest into because they got good units. May is probably the highest a uh, health bench you can get in the whole game, 25%, I don't know if there's a unit that goes over 22, except my, so that's pretty good. Cell is a good unit, plus his plat is really good, because of his plat he's a good unit, but if you have his plat, he's a good unit, you know? So yeah, I don't know what to say, like, it's, it's super weird, because Future has always been receiving pretty nice units, and... I don't know what happened, like, Sword of Hope Trunks was really good on release, and he stayed relevant for a pretty long time. And yeah, I don't know, they decided to shaft this guy, which is literally Rosé is, I personally think, is the most hype villain from Super. Maybe even Z, I know a lot of people like Frieza and Cell and stuff like that, but Rosé is super hype for uh, a villain, you know? And for him to get shafted like this, I mean, it, it just doesn't feel fair, you know? We have two Rosé Zenkais and they're both not good. Again, I'm not gonna g tell this guy is not good completely because in two weeks this might change for whatever reason. But right now, Zenkai Rose is... there's no reason to use him really. Because even though we have a green in the meta, you still have other units that can deal with that on better teams. And again, the free to play one I feel really disappointed because at 14 stars, for people to say he's bad, He's never coming back for that. There is no way this guy can become better after his release because he's a free to play unit. His Z ability is also bad. I mean, it's double defense and he's a melee type. It doesn't make any sense. You know, why would you put this guy even on bench? Because a lot of people are, are looking for offense. You want offense. Defense is something that you put when, let's say, if you Zenkai buff your team and the unit that Zenkai buffs the unit that you want has a like Super 17 for example, if I want to Zenkai buff the Tag Force and I put Super 17 on the bench, I'm gonna Zenkai buff the Tag Force and I'm gonna get double defense, but he's there because of the Zenkai buff, not because of the double uh, defense, you know? So yeah, that's just the, the truth. Future got shafted, I don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see what unit we're gonna get. Tomorrow I'm gonna make my predictions video. Now that we have all this stuff, it's definitely clear that we're getting Future. We don't know exactly which units yet, but we're gonna see. That's about all I have to say about this. I'm just genuinely surprised that Future is the tag that's getting shafted because they kinda love Future, they always release Future units, they milk this tag to the maximum because it's a hype arc and people wanna see Rosé, people wanna see Zamasu, Mer Zamasu, uh, Vegito Blue, pff, obviously, and yeah, they're gonna take advantage of this tag and I'm just surprised they're actually doing this. They literally just released a free-to-play that's bad, a Zenkai that seems to be bad, and a plat that's definitely bad. It's not gonna age too well. Maybe it's gonna be useful when this guy gets a Zenkai, but until then, I don't see anyone using CMZ like for real, 
or Rosé or even the free-to-play Mars Damasu. So yeah, pretty unfortunate, much you gotta do. You're gonna just accept it, move on and hope that the new LF and the new 1% are gonna be good and they're gonna actually bring this team back to life if that's what they're trying to do right now. It just seems like this whole team was made to kind of counter hybrids in a way like even if you look at the, the equipments we just got an awakened equipment for rosé which is literally it gives you 13 percent damage to hybrid saiyan and plus those guys both nullify endurance and beast gohan and future gohan both have endurance so yeah you can see where they were trying to go i i think i'm assuming i don't know but if that's the case that pretty much sucks because they they tried to make units to do a certain thing and once hybrids fall off those guys are probably not gonna retain the same value which they didn't have to begin with so yeah okay if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like subscribe stay tuned for tomorrow's video when i'm gonna make my final predictions for part two and i'm also gonna talk a bit about part three and other than that have a great day make sure you check some of the videos that i'm gonna link at the end of this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one Peace. Yeah, I see you thought it was over, but then the future tango boosted power, roasting opponents. The code is frozen, and I'm moaning. The key is flowing in the ocean. You had the nuts to step to one of us, but now you're facing both with these.